All right, in this lab, we're going to go through and we are going to UV unwrap our arch. All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, I'm going to go to my folders. This is the file that I have provided for you. Uh, there's a zip file, arch for unwrap, and it'll have the arch and it will have the textures as well. I'd like you to try to UV unwrap your arch. If you start running into too many problems, this arch will be provided for you to go through and to UV unwrap instead. So, all right, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at this. So here's my arch mesh. All right. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is go over here to modify, select it, and then let's open up our material editor here. Come up to the button. Uh, looks like my reference plane is still, uh, material is still in here. Let's just delete that. So I did provide you with textures. I didn't set up your material, so let's do that. Bring over a multi-cell object, which I'm just going to call this arch. And then I need to set up uh, some additional materials to plug into the multi-cell objects. So we'll do the brick, trim, and the wood, right? The three textures we had for our previous uh, UV block. All right, so now let's move these slightly to the side. I'm going to go to Scanline Standard. I'm just bringing in standard materials here. Oh, I did collapse that one. Sorry. Let's expand that again. It's be easier for you to see. So let's plug in our brick and our trim. And I just realized we don't need the wood, so I'm going to delete that. And get rid of this extra one. Let's plug these in. I'm going to put in the brick into one and the trim into two. If I come in here, I'm going to do a underscore brick, and then this one, double click, close, oops, B underscore trim, and then on this primary multi-sub, I'm going to set the number of materials to two. If you like to have things neat and orderly, and it all depends on how you want to work here. There's an option if you right click to say layout children, which will go through and organize things, make it all nice. I'm going to come back here to create. I'm in the create panel. I'm going to right click here where it says arch. I'm going to say assign material to selection. All right, so because of how we built our object, we may or may not have some UVs going on it, right? In the case of how I built Yeah, everything's kind of pretty crazy here. So I think what we'll do is we're just going to start with the default set of UVs. So let's just do UVW map, and we'll just set it to be planar. But I want to make sure it's aligned to the front, and we'll just set it nice and big. Let's type in 512 by 512. I'll do right-click, convert to poly. Let's open wrap. UW and open UV editor. All right, so here's kind of everything inside here. So this is everything's kind of in here. Everything's assigned. Everything has like kind of a base to it. The thing is, we don't want. We got to go through. We got to figure out what materials we want on which parts. All right. So let's go right click convert to edit poly because we want to be in edit poly for this because we need to go through and manually assign what IDs we want. So let's region select the entire thing. I'm going to assign everything once. Everything has brick. Now some parts of this, you, it'll help to make sure you're on select and not select in both. I want this top part is going to be trim, so I could click on it. I'm in element mode here, so I can assign that ID too. I want basically just this main body is going to stay brick. This is going to be brick, and this is going to be brick. So let's just click on it, say hide selected, click hide selected, which is under edit geometry, and click and say hide selected. So I can just grab everything else and assign that set ID to. There we go. All right. So unhide all. When I unhide all, I go into vertex and I unhide all because sometimes. Uh, even though you want to hit the polygons, the vertices stay hidden. Let's go into element, and I'm going to go to select ID now and click one and select, and that selects all the brick. Now let's put a UVW map on here again. 
But this time we're going to set it to box like we had previously. And I'm going to square off the values. The height is 344. And so if I give it the same height, 344, 344, that kind of gives us square values for everything. If I hit F2, the brick is much, the brick, it, it's just not right. So we need to come in here, we're going to change this up. So I'm going to change the U tile to 3 and the B tile to 3. This looks better, right? And maybe maybe it's too much. We could try two and two. That's not bad. I don't like where it's kind of ending. What if we try playing with our numbers a bit, like 2.5? And what I'm doing is I'm typing and then I'm hitting uh, I'm hitting tab to bounce between them. Let's do 2.25. Yeah, that almost does it. Here's an even better idea. Let's just remove that entirely. And just click on just this main arch body here. I put a UVW map just on that. Go to box and hit fit. And now what's the height? 249? So then we'll just copy that to the other ones. So now my goal here was to make sure that the brick started and ended at the top. So now we can set it to two. two. There we go. There we go. So now that brick is tiling on there really nice. I kind of like how that looks. Convert that to poly. If I come back in here, grab these bottom portions, we do the same thing. I mean, we could even do them one at a time. If I select one, do UVW map, box, right? It's already has the, it's almost square, right? We could probably leave the length and width where they are. Let's just get the height to match. And if it's not sitting directly there, you know what? Let's just hit fit again so it fits it. The bricks are being stretched a little bit. Let's try this. Let's play around a little bit with the, the V. I'm going to click and hold here. I'm going to move it. I want to move it so that the bottom part kind of fits just right. Because so I want to get that seam right there. That works really good. All right. And kind of like we do at the top, we can do the same thing here. Let's just go into Polygon. And then we're going to let's go to the front view. I'm going to region select just this area and put a UVW map on that and set it to box and fit. And so it looks like I need to just adjust this U tiling. Let's set it to 0.5 and the V to 0.5. What would it, what would it need to be? Well, if it's 0.75, ooh, too much. There we go. It's almost it. Ooh, set it to one. There you go. That works, All right? It's not bad. Almost works. So. You could just kind of adjust those and mess with them. That's one way to handle it. I think I'll be at 0.75 and 0.5. All right, looking pretty good. All right, and then we just have this top one, which right click, convert to poly. I'm going to go into element and click on all of this, but then go into, I'm going to expand. I'm going to hold control and click on polygon. I'm going to deselect the bottom part and let's put a UVW map on here, set it to box. And we're just going to adjust the V tile so that it's pretty much just like one set of brick. There we go. That works. That'll fit on there. And I'm going to right click and convert to edit poly. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to click an element. I'm going to hold control and click on the base and then this upper part and then say hide unselected. So there's some cleanup we got to do here. First off, if I go into Polygon, I will, we will never see the top of this. So we can go through 
and select these polygons and orbit around to make sure those are the only ones we have selected and hit delete. All right. If I, let's do this, element, hide that. Okay, good. There's no polygon under here. If there was, I would delete that. Let's grab our two elements we're working with here and say hide and select it. All right, so a couple different ways we can go about what we're going to do. We can hide and unhide stuff. Sometimes when I'm doing this kind of work, if I select the main body and the feet here, I'm going to actually use under Edit Geometry Detach, and I'm going to detach them as a new object and say OK. And then I'm going to right click at the top level. And then just right-click on my mesh and say hide selected. And I'm just going to focus on these so that the other ones aren't in the way. I'm not worrying about this guy at the moment. Uh, you'll, you'll see why in a few minutes. Actually, we can just select it and hit delete. I'm going to select this one and detach it as well. So I'm still working on these as different objects. It makes it a little bit easier to manage the UVs at times. Right, let's unwrap UVW, open UV Editor. And so what I need to do here is, you see how the, the everything kind of gets stretched going up here with these polygons? What I need to do is I need to kind of stitch them all together. So let's go through and find out where all these are. And so that's just going through. And I could probably region select. I'm holding control. Orbit, oops. I'm going to go into orbit down here and orbit around. I'll hold control and region select. Remember, it's not so it shouldn't be selecting anything on the back side now because I turned on um, ignore back face is on by default. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to just do a new projection here. And then I'm going to undo that because I actually just realized there's a better way to do that. I'm going to do the reset peel, where it's going to repeal that with everything together. Let's go Options, Preferences, turn off my Selection Preview and say OK. Now I can move this over, and if I rotate it slightly, I want it kind of up and down, turn off my Angle Snap, turn off that background. All right, if I just bring this over, rotate it a little bit, What I'm going to do at this point is this polygon matches this edge here should be the same size as this. So I'm going to turn on freeform. If I hold control and grab this top right corner when I drag, it scales it uniformly. I'm going to drag it so that edge is about the same size. All right, and that's going to get my UVs a consistent height going all the or consistent uh, texture density going all the way around. Right, and so now the brick kind of goes up and wraps around the top. So you will notice that at certain areas you get weird spots where they don't line up the bricks. It's going to break the illusion. But if you remember, we actually have geometry covering that, so it's not anything we need to worry about. So we're going to right click and convert to edit poly. So we fix that. Let's fix this guy up. So we'll select this piece, unwrap UVW, go open the UV editor, let's turn off our selection preview All right. and now we can do similar things here let's actually handle this a slightly different way for this what i'm going to do i'm going to grab the polygons at the very top and the ones at the bottom and i'm going to just move those i'm going to drag those up here oops just want to get that yeah drag them up like that I'm going to grab everything else, and similar to how we handled our column, let's go ahead and project it from the front, go to edge, grab this edge here, grab the ring, set it to peel, and then I'm going to grab all of these polygons. Sorry, you're not seeing the bottom here. Apologize for that. And then just peel all that. Now, it looks like some of this needs to be restitched together, so I'll grab those. There we go. And 
I can kind of I can just pack all these and be doing adjustments here anyways. If I go into vertex, I can grab these. Let's turn off the background so it's easier to see. I'm just going through and grabbing those ones that aren't connected anymore. All right, so let's work on orbiting these around. So they're kind of sitting there. Want them kind of consistent. Their layout. Perfect. All right, I'll kind of stack these on top of each other. These, one more here. Let's go into vertex, grab the bottom row, align it. I'm going to grab, come up here, go to edge, and grab this entire row going around. Oops. I think I need to grab. There we go. I'm going to use the grab loop tool and then I can align it. Oops. Align horizontal. Again, grab that loop, align horizontal. Loop, align horizontal. I can grab this loop and align horizontal. There we go. Just grab this top row of vertex points and align that. All right, there we go. So now we can take a look at our brick and we're going to kind of eyeball this as we're looking at everything else here. I don't know why I have seams. Let's go in here to seams, turn off, uh, ignore back face, and hold Alt and deselect. There we go. Turn that back off. Let's take a look at our brick here. And we got to turn that back on. There we go. So here's all of our parts. So we'll just move this over and grab this corner. And we'll just raise this up. I kind of want to get it to match kind of the general size above while also kind of getting the seams to kind of line up here. So that's good. Um, let's drag this over to the side. I want to grab this top and bottom part and just move it over here. There we go. So now this, and we can kind of set it. We just want to make sure that we don't have something where like an edge kind of comes up and gets cut off. That's no good. That looks sloppy. And we'll move it. Yeah, like this. It's almost, yeah, it'll work. All right, and then, so I want this edge here where the seam is it should look like the brick ends there i'm going to grab this next one i'm actually going to lower this down just a little bit to get that seam to line up and it's a subtle move so we're not really getting distortion and then i'm going to grab the top row and i'm just going to kind of pull this down so that ends up but i don't want it on the dark i actually want it to kind of hit on this lighter portion there we go Perfect. So how do we deal with the top and the bottom there? That's a great point, great questions. Let's just go in here. I'm in edge. I'm gonna click on this edge here. Oh, that's weird. I'm just gonna click on this and do the reset peel. Grab the bottom and reset peel as well. There we go. All right. So. What we can do for this, ideally, we should have cut the geometry to match, right? Uh, in this case, we didn't. And so what I'm just going to do here, I'm just going to scale this a little bit. I want to get it to kind of line up. I'm going to have it line up here in the front because that's the side we're going to see most often. And so we'll just kind of move it to sort of match kind of that shape. And then we'll just shift it over. Oops. Or raise it up to, oh, come on. I keep missing that line. There we go. Now I just kind of shift it, line it up. All right. Because we'll, we'll see it mostly from the front. We're really not going to see it from the side. The bottom it doesn't really matter because you're not going to really see the bottom of it. So we could just like planar map the bottom and just align it along C. It's good. There's nothing else we really need to worry about. All right, so what do we handle the other side? I'm going to right click convert to edit poly. And I'm actually, because we did connect everything with a box before, I should be able to just put a symmetry on. 
turn off Z and put X on. And so now, hey, look at that. Got the base on the other side. Convert that to poly. Let's right click on hide all. All right, so we have our, our brickwork is done. All right, I'm going to stop the tutorial there and I'm going to do a part two. And in part two, I'm going to cover how do we deal with all of the various different trim sections.